Hello everyone. <clears throat> it's been a while since the last uh, Olga tutorial, uh, but hopefully in this tutorial I would like to show you a pegging scenario and uh, calculate the surge volume in this peg in this pegging scenario. Uh, for that reason, I have already a case available, a simple case that we have had uh, together before, uh, a mass source in the beginning and a pipeline, and just a pressure node at the end. So if I quickly double click on the pipeline, so you see this pipe is uh, something like 77 kilometer uh, with the pipe uh, diameter given, known, and uh, the wall that is already defined. So if I go to the material and the wall, uh, wall properties, so you see this wall consists of uh, two materials, one steel and the other one soil, and uh, it means that this pipe is buried in the soil with the thickness that is specified here and the materials that are given here material properties that are given here uh, so this is this case is actually uh, these fluid properties um, are for a gas condensate and if I click on the mass flow rate so you see that I have defined the standard conditions for the mass flow rate the standard flow rate of 1000 million million standard cubic feet per day of the gas phase because this is a gas condensate and I would like to have uh, the standard flow rate of the phase gas and the GOR is uh, actually defined something like 3000 standard cubic meter standard cubic meter on top of the tab file so this is uh, this will be read from the one that you are giving here because you are over specifying the GOR here and the water cut is also zero meaning that there is no water in the in the pipeline the temperature for the beginning is also set to 48 so if I just run this case for some 10 hours and uh, calculate the QLT I would get uh, I would get at the end of the pipeline in the separator facilities so I have put it to I have put the end time to 10 hours and I'll just run it and <clears throat> I will go to QLT so the QLT is defined at pipe outlet which is the very last pipe in the in the pipeline at section 11 at the last section so if I just check it and press OK so you see it's already steady state and uh, if I take a note of the value the total liquid volume flow that I will have at the end of the pipeline at time 10 hours is 19,848 uh, cubic meter per day so if I go back to the trend uh, plot and try to calculate the surge uh, liquid I just search surge and you see the surge liquid is already defined so if I right click and go to edit and the search calculation the search volume so if you remember the Q max if I put the Q max to the QLT that we just took a note 19,841 and this Q max means the maximum drainage rate that you can have at your separator facilities or at the outlet facilities whatever it is or a slug catcher or whatever it is so if I press apply so you see the maximum surge liquid is uh, something around 1.6 at the last uh, time at the at the I think it's 10 hours yeah at the end of door and at the end of your simulation so this is not much, this is uh, quite acceptable for a slot catcher or for a separator facility. Uh, but if you want to do this pegging simulation, then uh, the surge liquid might be changing quite rapidly. So if I press OK and uh, if I duplicate this case, because now I want to include a, a peg. Uh, actually, I have already done that and I have included the peg. Uh, so this is quite a straightforward to to do a, uh, to insert a peak. You just go to the flow component and the flow path under the flow component. Right click and uh, go to add an FA model. 
and you see the first one is actually the pig so you just press on pig and the pig will be uh, will be showing here but uh, for specifying at which position you launch the pig and at which position you trap the pig then again you need to define the position and uh, for that reason uh, you go again to the flow component and the flow path under the flow component you right click and go to the add and then the position and you do it uh, actually twice to define both the launch and uh, and the trap position so I've already done that <clears throat> my launch position is uh, at pipe export so if I go to the pipe there is a pipe called export and that is the very first pipe in the in the pipeline I have uh, defined this position at the last section section number two and I have defined the position tra uh, trap which is actually at the outlet and section number eight so <clears throat> if I go back to the pig so the launch position and the trap position can be specified here so I would like to insert the pig at uh, two hours uh, not be, not in the beginning of the simulation but after after two hours of the simulation and my peak properties that are not default are this uh, linear friction which is 100 newton second uh, per minute uh, newton uh, newton s per minute <coughs> Uh, per per meter sorry uh, newton s per per meter and then i have the mass of 1500 kilogram and this leak opening of one um, percent <coughs> so these are the values that i have changed uh, and uh, they are not the default values so what we would like to do because uh, the pigging scenario is uh, you cannot you cannot run the pig with exactly the same uh, mass flow rate that we had that you had before because then the pig velocity will be very high. What I would like to do is <coughs> what I would like to do is to run my case uh, to have my mass flow rate uh, to 800 instead of uh, 1000 for the first uh, two hours before I launch the pig. And then I decrease the the mass flow rate to something like 200 uh, 200 million million standard uh, cubic feet per day, and then have the pig uh, running until it reaches to the end of the facilities and uh, uh, goes out of the pipeline at the trap position, and then I increase the standard flow rate to 800 again but for that reason i would i would need to know how long does it take actually for the pig uh, to 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 travel all the way to the outlet so what i need to do is uh, let's duplicate this case and i will call it hot of two and uh, what i would like to do is i'll go to the mass and I'll change uh, I change the standard flow rate to 200 I'll make all of them to 200 so I would like to know that the how long does it take to this uh, how long does it take for this pig to travel all the way <coughs> so uh, what I have now is the standard flow rate of 200 and uh, uh, I'll go to integration and I run the case for something like uh, 15 hours let's see and yeah before that uh, don't forget to include this trend data for the peak so if you look at what I have defined for the peak this is U peak, which is peak velocity, U peak average, average velocity of the peak, and the peak position in the branch, and the peak total distance traveled. So these four, uh, these four trend data should be added as well. 
So if I click on this and uh, I would like to look at this ZZ peak, which is the peak total distance travel. And I'll change this to hour. So you see at the at after two hours, the pig is just launched, and you can see this that uh, the total pig uh, distance traveled is being increased after the time. So if I refresh this again, so you see uh, the pig actually needs something like 10, 10 hours, or more than a little bit more than ten hours. Uh, with the standard flow rate of 200 to travel all the way uh, in the pipeline so from the launch to the trap position it takes something like uh, 10 hours or a little bit more than 10 hours uh, approximately 11 hours for the pig to reach to the final position so if I go back to my uh, original case and if I go to the mass flow rate so what I have defined here is uh, this uh, mass flow rate so from 0 to 90 90 minutes I would run the case with the standard uh, 800 uh, million million standard cubic uh, feet per day and then in 30 minutes I'll decrease the flow rate to 200 and if I change this to hours so you see that I have uh, that I have like 10 hours of uh, simulation with the standard flow rate of 200 let me drag this a little bit up yeah so you see I need to do it a little bit better like this yeah so you see that uh, I'm running it uh, for 10 hours because if you remember when they calculated the uh, the total distance and the time that the pig needs to travel all the way in the pipeline it was something like 10 hours so I've put it uh, 200 uh, standard flow rate of 200 for 10 hours and then again I decrease I increase the velocity uh, in one hour or a little bit more than one hour to 800 again back to the original standard flow rate so nothing nothing else is changed so the only thing I have changed it is uh, is this uh, mass flow rate which is my uh, scenario that I would like to run here uh, let's go back to the integration time I'll put the end time to 15 hours and I just do the simulation so here is the ZP so you see that the pig is launched after two hours and approximately after 10 hours the pig has arrived to the trap position as uh, expected and the simulation ends at 15 hours uh, so I'll close this one I don't need this again these are similar stuff yeah so if I now go to if I go to <clears throat> search calculation again and I check the search liquid and I press OK and uh, what I need to do is to go to edit in the search volume so if you remember the if you remember the Q max that we got from <clears throat> uh, this normal sim simulation that we had in the beginning it was something like uh, 19,841 so imagine that you have uh, you have the capacity of the drainage the maximum drainage rate of uh, 19,841 or let's say a little bit more let's put it like 21,000 uh, cubic meter per day uh, if I click on apply so you see that you have this uh, maximum surge volume of uh, uh, around 2000 cubic meter at time uh, let's change it to minute at time or let's hour at around uh, 12 hours 
So this is uh, this is exactly at the time that the pig has reached the trap, and it's uh, it's bringing a lot of liquid together with itself to the separating facilities, and you see that you have this uh, drainage or the the surge volume of uh, actually the, the the surge volume of something like uh, uh, two thousand or nineteen hundred cubic meter in your in your slug catcher or in your separator. So you should expect something like 19, 1900 uh, in your separator facilities for the surge liquid volume. Uh, this simulation actually helps uh, because when you have this pigging scenario, you would like uh, you you always like to know the surge liquid calculation, and uh, considering your separator facilities or your slug catcher. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and uh, you've learned something from this tutorial. Until next, bye-bye.